Hello everybody, just thought I'd do a an update, um, sort of what to do, what we're doing at this time of uh, year, um, and just run through a few things. So, uh, brushing is probably quite a crucial thing at this time of year. We drag behind a brush. Days like today, where the sun's out like this, probably not going to bother. Um, yesterday was really cloudy. The dew was sitting on the uh, on the leaf all day, so we just took it off early. Um, use ropes you can pull a drag brush behind you um, just really important to break that um, disease cycle um, also dry the leaf if you want to cut it as well um, and brushing also helps keep the plant upright it's got many benefits um, so that's that's one thing that I'd recommend to do if you can do that you can, tough for some people obviously working um, cutting is one of the basics at this time of year so we cut, you know, we, we're cutting once a week at the moment, uh, maybe at a grassroots club, it might be every every other week, so it might be, you know, once every couple of weeks, which you get away with, it's fine. Um, we're looking at 18 to 22 mil, just whatever, whether that's with a rotary or whether it's a cylinder, though cylinders are very easy to actually measure your height, uh, rotary, you're kind of guessing. We're kind of guessing a little bit at the moment because we don't have a uh, cylinder on site. So I'd say that's up to around the 25s at the moment, um, but I'm not too worried about that. It's getting brushed. It's got a feed, um, a feed in it. So it's nice and green and healthy. Um, I just want when it getting too yellow because that's when the disease gets in. The other crucial one with cutting is just wherever you're going to cut with, just make sure that blade's sharp. If you need to take the rotary blade off, take it to someone to sharpen for you. Just really do it. Um, any tears in the leaf um, is, is a is the ideal route for disease to get in, which you don't really want. So that's 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 kind of covered that. Um, so looking at aeration next. So we've aerated this. Um, did it last week. Um, ideally, in the ideal world, you'd use a vertical punch aerator. Um, which a lot of clubs don't have, but that's the ideal. Um, the ideal is also is to spike, which you probably can do at varying depths. So one to four inches, you can alternate uh, uh, lengths of tines or the first spike you do can be one inch and you do three on the next or three on the first and one inch on the next. Just vary those depths um, to help prevent any root breaks if you just keep panic, uh, spiking at one depth, it's never very beneficial and you can create root breaks. Um, feeding's another one. Uh, so at the moment it's quite nice and green. We gave this a sort of four something, eight. So yeah, it's, it's but we're looking at this time of year sort of no more than sort of eight, nine percent max in um, nitrogen. We don't want too much um, top growth. We just want enough to kick it on, keep it keep it thickening. We don't want any flushes of growth, any soft, too much soft growth, like some summer fertilizer would give us. So we're just keeping keeping those numbers down. For areas that don't get fed, you tend to get this what we call red thread here. Let's zoom in a bit there. It's not very good images because it's it, oh, there's, there's one. So you've probably all seen that on your square. That's nothing really to worry about. That's just, that's off the square there. So that's from there backwards because when I fertilized, I haven't quite got the edge there. So all that, all that's basically telling us is the plant's a bit hungry and it needs some nitrogen. So our, our normal nitrogen we'd use at this time of year, four or 5% nit nitrogen in it will, will knock that um, and, and, and it will grow out and it won't be a problem. So that's not something you really need to worry about. Um, I think that's kind of kind of covered everything really. Uh, any questions, just leave them below. Um, there's never any silly questions. We've all asked them. We've all been there. So uh, I think I've picked a good day because this looks really looks quite nice today. Um, but this, as we all know, the sun really does uh, flat, flatter our surfaces a bit sometimes. So because we're still waiting for this feed to kick in, I've so put a granule on it. Um, last week and I put a liquid on it yesterday benefit of the liquid was just a spraying through the leaf and maybe get a bit of an advantage while the uh, granular breaks down anyway guys um, hope you 
found this useful.